Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna take you through the new feature of GitHub which is GitHub Code Spaces and if you haven't familiar about GitHub Code Spaces this is something that allows you to run your Visual Studio Code uh, in virtual environment in order to uh, <coughs> communicate or contribute uh, for live sharing, for code sharing, for lots of other things that you can prefer to use but this is something that allows you to run this thing directly within a browser so if you haven't familiar about it let's get right into it so uh, if you open this thing okay uh, you you can see here you will get the free access up to 60 hours for uh, two core cpu okay you can choose the uh, configuration like they, there is a behind the scene they are running a dockerizing the things and running the vs visual studio code inside that and uh, we'll get a, a public url where we can code and we can do pr and all the stuff as usual as we do on local instead of that they prefer to lots of uh, companies they prefer to provide a private kind of uh, access for code space so it's it's really very good instead of getting <coughs> new machine and installing VS code on the top of that uh, like amazon workspace we don't need to do that within just with using this thing uh, you will get a bunch of new flexibility to use visual studio code within browser so let's get right into it so i'm gonna click here on uh, get started for free before that we'll see the plans okay according to plan we have free access up to 60 hours per month okay which is enough to get hands on with it you will get the two core CPU and after that you will be charged at $0.18 by the way you don't need to add your credit card or any information if you are uh, getting familiar with it it's in beta it's a new feature sorry so uh, four core CPUs uh, you can have a 30 hours of free access for eight core CPU you will have 15 hours of uh, free access a uh, 16 plus you can go with the pricing things and see the pricing docs officially over here okay our uh, storage you get a 15 gigs which is self-sufficient and delay unless you have a big file zip files or video files it's it's self-sufficient so no worries so you can proceed with doc if you want but i'm not gonna go through that i'm gonna click here on get started anyway and i'm gonna choose my repository directly like uh, giq let's suppose this random Thing I'm choosing for now and you can choose your region in which region you need to make sure to choose region according to your region because it will kind of faster as compared to others so I'm from Southeast Asia uh, suppose so I'm gonna choose that one and it you can prefer to go with this two core or four core CPU okay with the 30 uh, 2 GB uh, 4 GB of RAM and 8 GB of RAM so uh, if you are using a Java or .NET or some kind of big things behind the scene, definitely go with the 8 gigs because uh, 4 gigs RAMs sometimes won't work for you guys. If you are running Docker Compose inside that or lots of other things, just go for the 4 cores at least. But I'm gonna go to 2 cores because uh, I'm gonna explore something. Okay, so let's do that first. Uh, let's create something and we are gonna also test if if we can make something uh, quickly okay so no worries and uh, for the first time it will take time of course uh, to generate uh, or containerizing the thing in a background so of course it will take a little time but not that much even though it, it is uh, really very fast and the cool thing about that there are bunch of things comes with uh, inbuilt installed already so you don't need to install like nodejs okay so let's see I haven't used this feature that much but uh, I'm, I'm sharing this my very first experience with you guys and uh, once you load this thing for the first time for the second time it won't take that much of time uh, I'm assuming it should be like that because once you generate your machine like EC2 on AWS it will take a while but once you create that uh, the next time it will uh, load like this uh, by the way I found another way as well uh, like let's suppose if you have a github uh, of any react project let's suppose any project i'm assuming like this one someone made this from facebook team okay so you just need to change this to dev instead of com and you can uh, read 
all the code inside your browser uh, in VS code okay because so don't need to travel from here to there here to there okay so you can directly open like this this is read only for now but you can do fork and open it to code spaces and uh, add it on spot uh, so you will get integrated terminal like here we'll get in a while okay so uh, by the way you can do this same thing you can uh, with your normal VS Visual Studio Code editor there also you will get this kind of option to directly choose and deploy it to uh, here and let me maximize the screen uh, I guess we are using a two core CPUs that's why it's taking that much of time and uh, we might have a mini files okay till then you can see here clearly see here uh, I have like I'm running this thing okay but if I go here on command G so you need to continue to working on this thing okay if you click here it will again create a code space for that so we have limited number of code spaces so keep in mind like this uh, this is uh, I just have one md file over here so I'm gonna quickly create some kind of index.js project so where I can uh, show you guys like how we can use this thing so if, if you search for node v we already have a node version here already let me suppose use this python hyphen v let me see if i have python okay great so i have python already i'm not sure how to quit python yeah but i got a suggestion thank you python so like the way there are lots of things are already there so if i search for docker hyphen v i already have a docker i can run and compose the docker this is the beauty of using code spaces you don't need to see that oh, what we have to install java we don't have because java hyphen version or there is command to use java version okay so i'm not sure about let me let me use directly java hit enter and <coughs> java is there okay so i'm not sure how to check like this java hyphen small v small version so 17 version the latest version is there so most probably the latest ITS support uh, will be available in a code space nvm hopefully should be there so we are just testing like what are the possible things like from nvm i can use version 18 if i want okay so you can install and proceed so there are lots of things are already there you don't need to install anything and now if i create let let me create a new project okay for node.js just to check that how how you can proceed okay you can prefer to go with python as well const app why this is loading i don't need this thing equal to i don't need i need const express equal to require express so i'm gonna write old-fashioned code again const app equals to express app dot get quickly uh, can i use copilot here so a request comma response res dot json and here i'm gonna pass msg message to sub my channel okay don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already guys so listen and here i'm gonna pass 3000 so this is the uh, easiest code that i can run for now let me see if i have a node mon already i don't have so npm install hyphen g can i use hyphen g node mon hopefully yes so yeah we got it so we don't need to enter any password so sudo command i'm running sudo i'm not sure okay so uh, let's run this thing using node mon and hit enter so i have to have express installed before proceeding let's see the speed of installation of express quickly uh nowadays npm commands takes a while to install something but this is really very fast it's super fast okay this is the beauty of using code space and if i go here if i if i do node on it should run and it's running but how i can check that let me oh great so i got this pop-up and uh, behind me hopefully and if i click here i can directly see results within a browser so yeah great so this is the beauty of using this code space 
so please try this out guys this is really very cool really very really awesome new feature that github is providing of course in future we will have a paid plans but at least for if you have a smaller organization you can definitely try this out give it a try and you will save a lot of money in order to if you provide the private access so you don't need to go to any workspace or any virtual windows thing and installing stuff and setting up lots of bunch of things inside that if you are using web project and if not if you really need that you can proceed with dns and lots of pipelining stuff so this is it for this tutorial thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here. Please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side. Definitely I'll make it for you. And don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already. And smash that like button if you enjoyed. And you can use this thanks button as well in order to contribute. Even $1 is enough to grow our channel. So thank you so much. See you soon in next video. Tada bye bye. Good day.